Okay, so the same officer that just already passed because I was on the camera, I'm not understanding why he keep going past. Is it illegal to be on your camera? Is it illegal? Is it illegal for a nigga to look this fly? Good night, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome back to another Blunt Talk. Shane Alexander. We are outside again, y'all. It's actually quiet today, except for the train that I hear. Really far away, but big boy. Biggest dog in the world. I um, want to give a shout out to all my uh, trans brothers that are getting their surgeries done, even throughout this COVID nonsense your transition you are still pushing through it you're still trying to do it you know what i'm saying getting to it splitting the root a uh, shout out to sir I believe it's sir diamond i want to say that's his ig i'm gonna make sure i tag it down below but this conversation is uh it's uh yeah he is sponsored by him <laughs> i'm gonna call it doing it because of him basically because i seen the post that he put this morning so um but they outside no mask no mask on. um and a little doggy. Hey, he don't got no mask. He following me. But transitioning and getting the surgery, he had made a comment saying that he's going to go ahead and get his surgery and stuff. And whatever family is not going to respect him, whatever family, you know, basically is not still going to be around because it's a big thing to him. That that's going to matter. He's going to be paying attention to that. I wish I would have made a post like that before I went into my first surgery. I think I had my first surgery back in 2018. And at first, I was really hoping my sister, uh, Eva, was going to help me, especially since she was a health person or whatever. You know, she did health in, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in the Navy. I just, I wasn't getting the vibes that anybody really was going to help me. And I had top surgery first, so it was kind of like, you know, in my mind, you, get, you go through all the YouTube videos and you kind of be scared. Sometimes you be thinking about, okay, this person went through this, this person went through that. That's what anything, though. You be like, dang, is that going to happen to me? I don't know. But I'm feeling a little fearful of the surgery in general, you know, and then trying to get a feel for it and trying to talk to my sister, talk to my stepmom, you know, even talk to my dad about it, trying to get them, you know, I don't know, let them know that this is what's about to happen. I'm going to do this and I want to do this. And either they're going to be a part of it or they're not. I'm going to take this stop right here for a second so we can go ahead and get some of this more out look at that tree behind me hey mr tree with no mask on the feeling of you know not wanting to be alone going through something especially a surgery a lot of people go through surgeries and as soon as they go in there their mind is playing a trick on them thinking that they're not gonna come out it happens it, it happens it happens it don't, it don't happen all the time but it can't happen so yeah, feeling like, you know, trying to ask, you know, are they going to be able to help me with my recovery? Are they going to be able to help me, you know, change my bandages? Because I helped my stepmom change her bandages, I think, after her hysterectomy or guts and shit taken out as a woman. So, <laughs> like, I was just trying to see, is anybody going to help me as well? Uh, you know, even for my dad, I've helped you with blah, 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 blah. Or can you help me out with this? Even for my sister Eva, you know, I flew all the way out to Florida to, you know, help you. It didn't help me any. It just caused me more depression and more anxiety and nobody understood me or talked to me or anything like that. Like, are you going to be able to be there and help me? You have all these skills. You have all these talents and things like that. Can you use them for me? A loved one. I'm a loved one, right? Thought so. Anyway. So that's a really big thing for a trans person. First of all, to have to, and people be thinking, oh, you know, it's so easy for y'all. Y'all just playing and blah, 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 blah. Do you know how much you gotta fuck with your psyche to think that, okay, I'm gonna go into the surgery and I'm not gonna have any family members when I come out? That's a big thing right there. And I don't think my family took that into any account. Even to my sister, Stephanie, I don't think she ever reached out to see how I was doing. I reach out to all these people that I'm mentioning. So there's a re there's a reason that the, this conversation is being had right now. And there's a reason why I transitioned. It, it, I needed to see who was really there for me. I needed to become the butterfly that they were forcing me always to just be a caterpillar. 
waiting on them, expecting them, hoping that they show what I'm showing. Love, nigga. Uh, <laughs> but the second surgery I had when I had my stomach and stuff uh, done, this part down here, nothing. I think that's a big thing for all of us as trans folks, especially because we realize, although we're transitioning and we're trying to let other people transition too and give them time, sometimes it seems as though they, they're not even trying to transition. They don't care, basically. They don't love you enough to try to get over or try to not be selfish about what you're doing in your life. One more time. Let's say that one more time for the person that just passed by in the car. <laughs> They don't love you enough and they can't stop being so selfish to stop for a second and realize that you're transitioning through your life. Just accept me and love me for who I am. I'm going through changes, but I swear I'm the same. A lot of music now that I'm listening to and I'm hearing what they really trying to say. I'm going through changes, but I swear I'm the same. I got the same soul, I got the same spirit, but if you really loved me, you would you would see past the physical. You're so you're all you stuck in this 3D world that you think that all of this is what really counts at the end of the day. No, love counts. Loyalty, respect, honor, praise to the Lord. Those type of things count. Ain't that what people were doing when, with racism? Disliking somebody for something that they really have no control over? You have no control over this, yet you're still trying to dislike somebody over it. Like, pointless. So, especially even if it is just being trans, if you're going from a lesbian to straight, if you're going from a uh, wearing pink all the time to wearing blue, you're transitioning. Everybody has transitioned through life. Respect my transition the same way I'm respecting your transition. And I think it's crappy that family members, especially, I think it's crappy that family members, especially a friend, mm, but somebody that you were raised with, somebody that raised you, all this other stuff, wants to hold something against you so much. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to see if you're okay. They don't want to reach out and touch somebody's hand. All these Christian folks. Huh? 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 We about to say it today, huh? Because when I get it off my chest, it, it sound better and it look better and I get better views. Huh? Christian folks, huh? Yeah, I want my little hair to say like that. Christian folks out here, where's your Christianity? Where is, what would Jesus do? Hmm? Huh? Jesus was hating on people because they had leprosy and stuff? Huh? Jesus was hating on the man that was on the cross before he died? Huh? You can't live your life trying to stop somebody else's. We can't live our life hating somebody for living their own. On your toes, not stepping on my child, not stepping on my wife. Do you. But don't keep claiming stuff and not really wanting to be about that life. Don't do that. Don't keep claiming stuff and not wanting to be about that life. Be right back, y'all, because this is this one talk about to go for another like five minutes. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> That's just on some real stuff. If you're going to support somebody, if you're going to be a family member, if you're going to say that that's what you are, if you're going to say that you're a Christian, if you're going to say that you practice Muslimism and act like it. I don't give a damn what you do. I don't care if you praise rainbows all day. Act colorful when you see me. Act accordingly. But for all you Christians out there, who I'm talking to right now, for all them family members out there that wasn't a part of my transition, that didn't care about the transition, that hasn't checked on me during the transition, that's not trying to transition with me. Let me let you know right now, it's okay. You're not the only ones on the planet. And for the other boys and the men and the girls and the, and, the, and the women that are transitioning and the other people in the world, if you're transitioning and you're not transitioning, whatever. Understand, you have a family member right here. I love you. I'll be here for you. The ignorance is bliss to those mothers. But the, it's, it's, it's bliss to people like that. Let them stay in their happiness while we get out of this 3D zone. <laughs> this has been another Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander. We've been outside, folks, this whole time. Outside, I did it. Look at it. Okay. Not one blunt in the hand either. Okay. And smiled. Hey, okay. <laughs>